Hello friends, I'm Parwiz and this is our second video in Python Flask Grot Web Application Development. Uh, in the last video we had a simple introduction to Flask Framework uh, and also we had made our first web page in Flask Framework with Python language. Uh, and this is the uh, sample application that we are going to make. Uh, this uh, web Grot web application is interacting with uh, uh, MySQL database, you can update, you can add student, you can delete a uh, student like this and we have a flash messaging system. Uh, now if you haven't watched the previous video, I highly recommend you to watch the previous video. Okay, uh, And in this video, uh, we are going to make, uh, I'm going to show you how you can uh, include uh, bootstrap uh, and also because we are using bootstrap. Uh, and also how you can make your header and footers uh, and also I'm going to show you how you can add uh, an icon to your uh, web application okay uh, now the first thing you need you should download uh, the bootstrap uh, from their main website and also you need to download the jQuery from their from the jQuery.com okay uh, now after this open your uh, Python file. Uh, let me close this. Okay. Mm. Let me remove this and okay. Uh, now this was uh, where we have left uh, from yesterday lesson. Uh, we have imported uh, Flask from Flask and we have uh, uh, instantiate the Flask application. After that, we have made our route and decorators. Uh, we have simply returned a Hello Flask application. And at the end, we have uh, started our uh, server and we, uh, and the debug is true. Okay. Now, if I run this, now it's running on <coughs> my local host and port 5000. Let me open this. You can see Hello Flask application. Now, what you need, uh, the first thing you need, um, uh, you should make a new uh, directory and call it uh, templates. Templates, okay. Make sure that it is, uh, the template says like this, because we are using Jinja uh, templates. And like this, you should write, click on the OK. After this, we need, uh, in this templates, we are going to add our HTML files. And we need another one for the static. And in the static, we are going to add uh, our jQuery, our bootstrap, and also our images. Okay. Uh, now I have uh, templates and a static. In templates, I'm going to add uh, the jQuery. Let me open uh, my previous uh, project. And I'm going to copy my bootstrap from there. Uh, now this is my boots, uh, bootstrap files, CSS, phones, GS, and also the icon. Let me copy this and paste it in my static. Okay. And let me close that file. Okay. Now I have my CSS. Uh, and I need bootstrap.min CSS. Also in GS, I have a jQuery uh, 3.2 and also bootstrap.min.js. Uh, now, in the templates, I'm going to make a new uh, HTML file. Call it index.html. Like this. And in here, uh, we are going to write our uh, HTML, make a head tag like this and give it a title. I, okay, CROD application, call it CROD application. And we are going to make our body. Okay, <coughs> now. Uh, in the head, in the head, in this section, we are going to upload our uh, 
bootstrap and you can simply write a link href and uh, like this url for uh, my file is in the my bootstrap is in static folder static and the file name is file name is let me open this and that is bootstrap.main let me rename and copy this and paste it in here right now we just did bootstrap.main.css okay and the rel is style sheet now this is our bootstrap now in the in the body we are going to make our diff class container and diff class will this is a bootstrap class will text dash center and in here we are going to write h1 python flask crot web application development okay now I'm going to save this uh, what you need and here you should you you need to import render template because we are going to uh, render our HTML templates and in the index uh, instead of returning a string we are going to return our index.html index.html now save this you can see now this is refreshing that when we are going to save our uh, app.py now let me refresh my application python flask rod web application but uh, our bootstrap is not working let me check this that where we have a problem okay this is a url for static oh sorry and here we should add a css because it is in the css like this okay now let me save this and refresh this yeah now we have our header uh, python flask rod web application and after this we are going to make our footer and for this i'm going to open my html and and here at the bottom I think it should be in here okay uh, now diff class well and I'm going to write uh, h3 tag and in here write website for example I'm going to write www.parwaysforog.com and uh, in the h3 in here we are going to make a span class span class and we are going to pull this to the right and write like as www.facebook.com slash you can write some page I'm going to not write okay now save this and yeah now we have a folder but uh, I should 
I think I need this. It should be in my container, uh, in my body. Let me copy this and paste it. Let me run this. Not. And uh, I should add this in container. Yeah, now it's. Uh, I have uh, my uh, header and also I have my uh, footer. Between this, I'm, uh, I will add uh, my, uh, for, uh, my table in here, my table student in this section. Uh, this was our code. Uh, and also I will add this code in the uh, bootstrap as soon as possible. You can copy this. And also, uh, I don't forgot, uh, I, I should add, you can see now I don't have any icon for my web application. And I need an icon for this. Uh, for this, you can simply, uh, let me write this, at the top in here. Before this, you should uh, add an icon to your static, and uh, I have added a teacher.png, this icon. Now, in this section, I'm going to add link and call it to shortcut, shortcut icon. And href is we can add URL underscore four that is in our static and our file name is teacher.png teacher.png now save this and run this. Yeah, you can see now we have our icon. Uh, thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, don't forget subscription of my channel.